Welcome to the presentation on phases of quality assurance and e-learning projects. Before getting onto the phases of quality assurance and e-learning, let us first understand what is quality assurance. Quality assurance is a systematic process of monitoring and testing the final product to ensure that it meets not only the customer requirements but also the industry standards. If we look at quality assurance in the context of e-learning, it is generally measured, based on two parameters the efficiency of the course development process and its effectiveness, in meeting the learning objectives. Let us now understand the objectives of the QA process in e-learning. The objectives of the QA process in e-learning are, a. Adhere to industry standard SCORM, AICCB. Ensure usability of the course material according to client specifications, and c. Eliminate technical issues, if any. We will now look at the phases of quality assurance and e-learning projects. There are six phases in the QA process. They are usability testing, GUI testing, functionality testing, regression testing, localization testing, and online web testing. Let us see them in detail. In the usability testing phase, a tester evaluates the effectiveness of the user interface to enhance the learning experience. Content specifications and storyboards are reviewed and the final course content is checked for spellings, grammatical errors and inconsistencies in styles and fonts. GUI testing. In this phase, there would be an evaluation of the alignment of graphics in the final product along with color and logo brandings in accordance with client specifications. The QA team also assesses the visibility of the text, colors, layout of text and graphics and readability of text among other things. Functionality testing. This is the phase where there will be a checklist to ensure that all components in the e-learning are functioning properly. The QA team conducts tests to make sure that all objects such as buttons, links and URLs, navigation features, overlap of voiceover in the course where are functioning properly. It also checks items such as the animation replay button and functionality of rollovers. Regression testing involves checks to make sure that the modifications are implemented in the latest version and in 